my small got even smaller. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted and today I'm, I've been looking so forward to doing this video. I've had these things for like five weeks and I've just been waiting so long to unbox them. Today we're looking at these. Literally the most anticlimactic thing ever. They don't look exciting whatsoever, but they have a weird story behind them. So as you might be aware, as I have talked about it for a couple of weeks now in a row, I did go to Tokyo. I was walking through the back streets of Akihabara and I had a tip off that there were some weird vending machines and I had to go and find them. Now, when I got there, there was a weird popcorn vending machine, which just dispensed popcorn right next to a condom machine, which was next to a photo booth. All in all, kind of weird. But then from there, there was like your normal vending machines and then you started finding stuff like bouncy balls and beetles weird knickknacks which you don't expect to find in a vending machine and then there's a vending machine devoted to these just little white boxes with yellow tape around them and little stories on the front in Japanese and I thought that is super weird I'm gonna buy free honestly if, if you're any normal person you see these vending machines you're not going to be thinking that. One of them costs 10 quid. All varying prices, all varying sizes, and all different stories. Now, when we got back, obviously, I don't speak Japanese. I have no idea what these things said. So first thing I did was hit up a translator. Now, I went over to Reddit. They have a great subreddit called Translator. And on there, a fantastic guy jumped on translating these things like straight away. And within the hour, we had a full translation for all three of them. Thanks a lot to the user, Dom Rommer. Amazing job so just quickly i'm gonna bring this laptop over here i'm just gonna read through the translations box by box so we're gonna start off with the big guy here i ordered omelette rice in a family restaurant but the plate it came on was covered in what looked like pieces of towel fluff so i told the server off and this woman who looked like she was filling in for the manager came out and gave me a load of boring crappy excuses so i just said whatever and i didn't eat the food i paid for it and the next time i I went there, I went to the bathroom, I took a shit on the floor, broke the toilet tank with a hammer and flooded the place. Another day where I did something good. You'll be happy to know that's not the weirdest one. So let's keep going. I love this one so much. <laughs> Next one, the medium sized one. And this is a doozy. I went to the video store the other day and I bought a video called Rui's Secret Technique for 4,000 yen. I took my pants off and got ready so I could shoot a load. Yep, that's where this one's going. But it turned out that rather than the porn actress Ryu Sakura who I expected to show up, it was a video about Louis Ramon's secret soccer techniques. My small got even smaller. <laughs> but I still, oh my God. But I still jerked off to Louis. I'm just a perv. I was so angry that I went to the video store in the middle of the night and I took a in front of their shutters. That is art right there. That I got that out of a vending machine. Let that settle in for a second. <laughs> now we're on to the final story and the most expensive box. Let's get this out of the way and find out actually what's inside it. Are things really okay like this? There are people using special wards as cover to steal nationally owned land and use unknown tricks to line someone's pocket. In this election, it's either a stark choice between vote for the people stealing nationally owned land or the guy with the nicest pockets. And the way to deal with the country shooting missiles at us is easy. Everybody go out and vote. That was a lot deeper. I didn't expect that, especially after the whole jerking off story. And I also like the fact that the first two stories both involved people pooping somewhere that they shouldn't be. And with that, let's unbox these things. I'm actually excited about this, but also scared. I'm like, it's like the most nervous feeling I have felt doing anything on this channel. Oh my God, it's gonna be so underwhelming. I just know it. What if it's poo? Come on, is it that could... bad on the outside of the box? I, I mean, if the stories have talked about poo, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Someone might have pooped in one of these boxes. Let's unbox the big guy ass. I actually think he was the cheapest one as well. So I think it makes sense to end with the most expensive one, which was the smallest one. So let's give it a go. It's actually like another little thing taped onto the bottom here, which I never actually noticed. I hope it's not another short story. Oh. It is. There is there's another note, but I have cut off part of it. If anybody's out there who can translate Japanese, here's another story for you. And if you're anything like the ones that we've already read, it's probably gold. 
Like, how did we not notice there was notes stuck on the bottom there? There's a whole other part to this story that we don't know about. Okay, let's actually see if these guys are actually easy enough to get into. Yeah, I'm in. I see a penguin. Does that fill you with hope? Oh, it's Meiji. So it's a snack of sorts. It is. It, I, it looks like cereal. Pick up. I'm pretty sure it's cereal. First one, fairly underwhelming. I, I do like the penguin mascot they've got going on in the inside here. That's cute. Yep, it's, it's like little, little puff cereal. Hmm. Not a bad find, though I am still scared to put it in my mouth considering where I found it. Ugh. Oh, they're cheesy. Are they? Are they? Are they cheesy? They are. I didn't expect it to be cheesy. That was a shock to the system. If you've ever had anything like Watsits or Cheetos, basically exactly the same thing in taste. They just look like shredded wheat or something. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see if it gets any weirder from there. All right, first things first with this box. Let's get the other short story off. Once again, if you can translate this, have fun. See, this has got to be good. It was my favorite short story. I, I have high hopes. It looks like food. I see a calorie counts. Oh, it looks like chocolate. What could it be? Uh, oh, there's a guy with a baseball bat. That's frightening. I have no idea what these are. I think it's just like sticks with chocolate on them. But I mean, there's a cute guy playing baseball. That's cute. I like a good mascot. Oh, they're literally called Choco Bats. So they are meant to be like chocolate covered baseball bats. Okay, I'm with you now. Oh, they come individually wrapped. It's adorable. When did this become a taste test? This wasn't a taste test video. This wasn't how this was meant to go. Bats up. Don't say that now. They're so dry. Oh, at least Pocky's like crunchy. It's got like kind of a texture to it, but there's like nothing to this. You know what? So far with these boxes, I think I've been a bit ripped off, you know? I think I've paid more money for the story, which in, in all honesty, I think the stories are priceless. I don't think you put a price on this. The next one, the final one, the most expensive box of the three. What was that head movement? Like it does feel actually substantially heavier than the other two as well. Like there's definitely something rattling around in there. I hope it's not a corpse. This one also has some like scribbles on the bottom of it, which I'm not sure what they're all about. This is the first box to have scribbles on it. And it literally like, I can't read the stuff at the bottom, but it just says 15,000 yen, which is like 150 quid. Maybe that's how much this box is actually worth. Please don't be snacks. Please don't be snacks. Please don't be snacks. It's definitely gonna be snacks. Oh my God, it's the worst possible snack that I could get as well. Packs of Kit Kats. I can get Kit Kats here. Well, well done, random man who fills up a vending machine with random boxes with short stories on them. You got me. I spent a premium cost and all I got was Kit Kats. But you know what? It was the stories on the boxes that really made it worth it. Now, I know I could have had the stories for free. I could have taken a photo of the vending machine, but when you're in another country and you see something that weird, you just think, what's in that box? And curiosity gets the better of you. And then you wind up with a four pack of Kit Kats. And with that slightly disappointing end, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Now, if you enjoyed the ride we've been on today, and it's definitely been a ride, like this video. If you really, really like this video, hit subscribe. We've also got Facebook and Twitter. You can follow us on there. We'll be posting stuff up on there soon. You can also help us out, support the channel on Patreon, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. He literally just wrapped this in a calendar. It's, it's just a freaking calendar. I've been so ripped off today.